All right, welcome, gang. So we've got this enterprise lab configuration, and currently they've all got IP addresses. The systems all have names. Um, at this point, uh, for 2793 course, you would have gone through and looked to see what exists what configuration exists. Now, this lab will be something that 2792, 2793, or 2794 will get tasked with. Because in this initial exercise, one step of a comprehensive exercise you're going to do, in this step, you're tasked with when server 01, you'll connect to it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And while we connect to it, I don't need it to ask me every time. Well, as we go connect to it, remember we're admin. One, two, three. Remember me. And apologize for the thunder lightning it's bad storm while I'm recording this so this virtual machine spinning up now it's currently an instance of Windows Server 2022 and if you've already gone through and investigated and explored in here you'll know that there are no roles that have been assigned to this machine yet get into what that means here in a second once this finalizes spinning up for us but on this one I, yes I want it to be discoverable by other machines because I want them to talk to each other now the first thing that you have to do in here once it spins up like I said is we're going to go look at our local server. All I did was click on local server. Could have done it up here on the nav bar. I want to change the firewall setting. So I click on Defender Firewall. And I turn off firewall there. Yes, I want to turn it off there back up and then I go to the domain side and I want to turn the firewall off that's for now we we'll, may or may not deal with that later on but this is just so that we can have these things talk to each other when the time comes so now uh, privates on but the others are not we see that the name of the computer has already been assigned when the when server 01. We see it's a member of a work group. It's not a member of a domain. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to manage. I want to add roles and features. I don't need to look at this every time. This is just Essentially, all this is saying is you better make sure you know what you're doing before you go down this path. That's the most basic way of wording it. This is them saying you better know what you're doing before you go changing things. Because once you've changed things, they can be very difficult to fix mistakes if you did something incorrectly. So always be prepared for what you're going to do. And what we're about to do, eh, we're, we're not digging too deep. So it's not going to be very risky. We just click Next. And we want role-based or feature-based installation. We're not going to do something over the network as a virtual machine. We're doing this role-based. And then when we click Next, they're going to say, hey, what machine do you want to deal with? Well, all right. So this machine is an instance of 
Microsoft Win Server 2022 Data Center. It's got an IP address already. And we're going to add this role, the role that, and think about it like you probably heard of uh, the phrase, it's a man of many hats. And essentially what that means is it's a person that has many roles within an organization. Oh, that person, they run HR. Oh, that person, they cut the grass. Oh, that person, they're the chief financial officer also. It's a person of many hats. We're going to assign an additional role, because at this point there are no roles associated with this server, and we'll see what, what are associated with it here when I click Next. So we pick the server we're going to add the roles to, and I click Next, and the only service that exists right now is this is a file and storage server. That's the only service that's associated with this. You don't see anything else checked or darkened off. And one of 12 of the roles associated with file and storage services, only one of 12 is installed. Now, at this point, I want to make this an Active Directory Domain Services server. Let me go back. Active Directory Domain Services. And as soon as I did that, you see what happens. It pops up and says, hey, here's all the little goodies that go along with it. I'll go back and do it again. I checked it, but we really didn't see it happen. But we see it's still highlighted. So it says you cannot install Active Directory domain services unless the following role services or features are also installed. So when I say, hey, I want to do this, they're like, look, you can't just do that because there's a whole lot involved in that role. And if you want that role, you're also going to have to have all these other little goodies that come along with it. I agree. I'll go, along, I'll go along with it. Add all those individual little features that go with that role. And then we click that, which we just accepted everything in, that's required for this to be an Active Directory Domain Services server. I click Next, and at this point, they say, hey, is there anything else you might need you know I really don't think there's anything else that I could think of that I'm gonna need relative to this you've already told me everything that I need and that's all these little check boxes so these little checks are the things that were in that previous window when I said oh you want ADDS well here's some things that got to go along with it that's these checks okay you told me I needed these things, I'll go along with it, and I check next. Says, you sure about this? Because we're here we go. And we click next. And right here we agree to restart the destination server automatically if it's required. This is a big deal. If you don't check it, it's gonna sit and wait for you. If you do check it, it's going to go along and you don't have to sit and watch it or babysit the machine. So I click it. So now it says, all right, if restart's required, we're going to go ahead and do it for you. You want to let us do it? Yes. Now, I don't have a next. At this point, the only thing I've got left is let's do it. We just walked all the way down through this. Now we click install. It'll take a few minutes to go through and do what we've got to do. Now, this installs the role. Now, it doesn't... Um, think about it this way. It hires you for the job or hires the server for that job. It doesn't give them everything that 
it needs to do the job. That's something you've got to go back and deal with some other things after the fact. But at this point, all we're doing is making this server an Active Directory domain server. Once we get through with this, we'll have another video ahead that'll be making this server a domain name server. And then, well, maybe we can make this a DHCP server. We may or may not. See how it all plays out with what we've got in the step by step that we've got to cover for the objectives in this course. So, first and foremost, we're going to do the ADDS. And then from there, like I said we're going to go over and do DNS next, and that'll be on the next video. I'm going to pause this because you don't need to watch the bar move. And I'll come back when. We reach the end of it. Okay, so we got through that. Now, you didn't have to watch it go all the way through. Or I didn't make you watch this video to go all the way through. But before we do anything else, something you need to do for this lab is to grab a screenshot of what you see here. So on your computer, capture a screenshot of this. This is the deliverable that you need for one of the deliverables for this Active Directory setup. Okay, so there's the first screenshot you need. You'll close it. And then I want you to come back. And we'll click our dashboard and grab a screenshot of this showing that you have now Active Directory Domain Services installed. If you mouse over it, you can see when this was done. Apparently, four time zones behind me. So, I need two screenshots. One was that last thing before we clicked close, and the other is this. That shows me, one, how you did it. How did you set up Active Directory? And two, that you successfully did it. I don't have anything here that says, oh, I've got a problem with any of these. They're all up and running good. But over here, before I end, over here you see that little triangle. It says, hey, you got some notifications over here. Now, there's some post deployment configuration that we're going to do. We'll do that in another video. This video, all I wanted to do was make an Active Directory domain server. Remember, I said there's some other stuff. Yeah, you got the job, we need to get you an office, and we need to get your chairs, and we need to all the little ins and outs to actually get it to where you can do your job. That's this part of it, okay? So, these little things that we'll have to take care of in a future video, all well and good, okay? There's two ways to install Active Directory domain services. This is the easy peasy way. That, that wasn't stressful. 2793 and I have a task, you'll have another video and the other machine, that's server 02, you're going to create the same role on 02, which will do that using PowerShell. But that's going to be another video for 2793. Right. So I'll see you in next video.